10 organic natural food companies that were bought out by huge corporations. Start with one of my favorites, Primal Kitchen, that was bought by Kraft Heinz Company. Garden of Life was bought by Nestle. Burt's Bees was bought by Clorox. Epic Provisions was bought by General Mills. Tom's of Maine was bought by Colgate. Applegate Farms was purchased by Hormel. Annie's Homegrown was bought by General Mills. Zico, who makes coconut water, was purchased by Coca-Cola. Larabar was purchased by General Mills. And Honest Tea was purchased by Coca-Cola. All right. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Makar Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, salutations, and blessings unto the hopeful elect, pushing his truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe. In the sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days. Now, um, this is going to be a fairly brief video. And, um, you know, as you heard the woman going into, she was um, breaking down 10 organic food companies that have been brought out by, you know, major corporate enterprises such as you know pepsi coca-cola um nestle you know so on and so forth and um this just goes to show how vigorously and um relentlessly you know this um new world order system is being pushed because they want full control, you know, over all industries, in particular, you know, the food industry. And that's why you've had, you know, the Bill Gates of hell buying up, you know, all of the farmland, all right, throughout, you know, the land of America. And I'm sure, you know, throughout, you know, the four corners of the globe also, all right, all of these elites that are all connected and are all, you know, trying to bring about the new world order system are all you know together in this huge effort trying to dominate and control you know all of these industries upon the face of the earth and in fact you know during the uh pandemic that happened you know three four years ago there was a substantial amount of independent retailers in particularly you know here in the uk and I'm sure worldwide, that will basically put out a business, all right? Because, you know, with these L-downs, where people couldn't leave their home, everyone started ordering online, all right? And, you know, these independent shops, you know, took a big hit, and many of them couldn't afford to pay their rent, you know, so they were taking payouts from the government. And then when that stopped, all right, they were unable to... um climb back you know from the um from the uh you know the pandemic all right scenario that took place so you had a, a huge amount of business you know disappear when everything re-emerged and you know things so-called went back to normal all right so there was a reason you know why that was done all right there was many things that were accomplished in the um pandemic phase all right and now you're seeing how, you know, like, you know, this video gives you the example of how many of these, you know, independent or what were independent organic companies have now been bought out, have been, you know, compromised and been, um, you know, modified by these major corporate, you know, enterprises, man. And, you know, just imagine you have, um, you have a company you know, doing this thing. They might specialize in um toothpaste, you know, they might specialize in, you know, organic toothpaste. They might specialize in um, you know, a particular, you know, smoothie or, you know, whatever the case may be. Then you have a huge enterprise like 
Pepsi or Nestle or Coca-Cola come into the scene and offer them, you know, billions, all right, or half a billion or whatever the case may be to buy them out, of course, they're going to take the money, all right, because this society, you know, this kingdom thrives upon uh, money, all right, and the scriptures tell us that um, money, the love of money, all right, is the root of all evil, all right, so even if they were, you know, to reject an offer, sooner or later, they would have to compromise because these major enterprises will always find a way to get what they want, whether it be concerning land, all right, whether it be concerning, you know, um, creating some sort of obstacle, all right, where you can't no longer sell your product because they have the power to do these things and they've done it many times before, all right, so sooner or later, you know, everyone is going to bow down, you know, to this new world order system, even on a corporate level, all right, and that's why you're having all of these companies um, bow down to this whole um, carbon, you know, footprint agenda, all right, you might go on a company website, and you go into, you know, the about us section, and they will tell you how, you know, they're down for this, um, you know, they're watching their, you know, their, 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 their carbon footprint, you know, as a company, and they're, you know, adhering to particular rules that are not even in effect, you know, by law yet, so that shows you that there's an agenda, and there's a, there's a, if you will, there's a hidden, you know, law already in the works that major, that major enterprises and smaller, you know, independent companies are already following because they want to be in with the in crowd. All right. So right quick, you know, let me get a few scriptures. Well, actually, before we get a few scriptures, I have this, um, this website I want to get into right quick. And, um, this is actually from 2020, all right? Now, it says, who is your parent? Now, it says here, no more, now more than ever, consumers are seeking products that are healthy, organic, all natural, and ethically sound. This positive shift is largely tied to the spread of knowledge, all right? And what does it tell us in, um, we brought it out yesterday, in uh, Daniel's uh, chapter 12, you know, many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased, all right, so knowledge is being increased, you know, upon the face of the earth in all, in all avenues, all right, first and foremost, you know, the wisdom, knowledge and understanding of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, all right, which the elect, you know, have, you know, the um, pure understanding, you know, of the holy scriptures, all right, then you have, you know, the um, increase in knowledge concerning technology and the capabilities of Esau Edom on the left hand side. And then you have, you know, in general, you have people that are um, more hip and more, you know, exposed to, you know, looking things up, you know, using, you know, the Internet. All right, there's all kind of, you know, um, online, um, if you will you know, medical, you know, channels that you can look up, you know, you might have a particular ailment, you know, you might look up, you know, what's good, you know, to treat, you know, that particular, you know, ailment that you might be dealing with, you know, so on and so forth, and you will find the answer, all right, you had this man, he was uh, put in jail for five years, I was watching the video yesterday, yesterday night, he was put in jail for five years for selling the, um, the seeds of the of the uh, apricot, all right, which we know is a uh, B17, all right, and I'll say it in that way to avoid the algorithm, all right, and because you know he actually was um was um healed, you know, by using uh, the B the one to the seven, you know, he started selling it on his website, all right, and you know pr promoting the benefits of it, and as a result you know, he was actually put in prison, you know, for five years, all right, so they don't want people, you know, being, um, being, um, exposed to the knowledge of dealing with things that's actually good, you know, for your health, they don't want that at all, all right, and that's why, you know, these, you know, major corporations are now buying, you know, heavily into this industry, so they can try and control and manipulate it, which shows you that, you know, we got to get out of here, man, all right, 
Because, you know, through the spirit, you know, the apostles have had it where through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, you know, the apostles have been pushing how we have to look after ourselves, man. All right? And we got to do better concerning what we eat, okay? Because we're about to head into some real, um, if you will, um, turbulent times, all right? And you want to be, you know, fit for the battle, you know, first and foremost on a spiritual level, but it's also important to be fit for the battle on a on a physical level too. All right? And we got to look after our body, man. All right? You got to look you got to treat yourself, you know, um <laughs> with respect. All right? You can't just be, you know, eating any junk. All right? Cuz that's what Esau wants you in that state. He wants you to be, you know, eating junk and poisoning yourself and have you weak. All right? Esau wants that. All right? So it's hey, it's it's through the spirit and power of Yahweh about Shimei or Shai that um you know the apostles be pushing that man all right and you know we're all trying to do better you know through the spirit and power of you how about shimmy out shy but we you still have this devil all right trying to um trying to even capitalize you know off of this industry all right which again shows you how you know we gotta get the hell out of this place man all right so it says um people are now willing to pay a little more for trusted brands with high quality ingredients the downside is that big businesses are looking to make their cut of the profits, leading to a huge industry secret. Many of the wholesome niche companies we trust and enjoy have been quietly bought out by huge corporations that may not carry the same standards we rely on. Once small-scale independent brands are now owned and operated by parent companies like General Mills, Purdue or Coca-Cola, all right? And um, you also have instances where, you know, you might be, you know, trying to buy something on Amazon, whether it be some, you know, particular herbs, you know, pills, so on and so forth. You know, uh, this happened to me a few months ago. I was reading through the comments and, you know, one person was like, hey, since, since um, you know, such and such company, you know, has taken over, one of the corporate companies, you know, the quality of this product hasn't been the same, all right, shortly after they acquired it, they might use, you know, cheaper ingredients, you know, compromise on the quality, you know, to make it, um, you know, more, um, what's the word I'm looking for, to make it more, you know, profitable, all right, because that's what it's all about for these, um, these enterprises is profit, they don't really care about your health, all right, they're not buying into these companies so they can spread, you know, good health, all right, they're, they're trying to do it, you know, to, to make a maximum profit, all right, because more and more people are seeking to these products, all right, so it says, um, when a big company purchases a product line, the first thing they do is adjust the formula to make it easier and cheaper to mass produce, that's it, not only that, they tend to be quiet about the change, banking on your invested trust in these natural brands. Let's look at a few examples, all right? So they have, you know, similar ones that was men mentioned in the video, all right? Honest Tea was uh, brought by Coca-Cola. Um, you had Applegate Farms, Hormel. Uh, you have um, Bare Naked, Kellogg's, Coleman Natural, Purdue, you know, and the list goes on, all right? All of these you know, organic natural food companies have been bought out by these major brands, all right? So, again, you know, we got to get the hell out of here. Now, this is Matthew's chapter 24 and verse 22, and it reads, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened, all right? So, you know, the Lord is going to shorten all right, the time, all right, for the sake and for the mercy that he has upon the elect, all right, because if the Lord didn't come back, all right, in the midst of this, um, you know, this mayhem and this demonic kingdom that we're currently existing in, there would be no flesh to be saved, all right, because as we know, this man wants us to um, have, you know, GM to the old meat, all right, lab made meat, lab grown meat. All right, there was even um, instances, you know, among China in China where they were making meat out of um out of dung. All right, and the scriptures tell us that you know we shall eat our bread, 
you know, defiled, you know, among the heathen. All right. And that's happening. That's happening right now. That's why, you know, you just do the best that you can. All right. Concerning, you know, the food that you eat, we do the best that we can because we understand, you know, that everything is ultimately defiled and we need salvation from Yahweh Barshim Yahweh Shai. All right. So we got to just do the best that we can. And don't be, you know, feeding into, you know, the bullshit, you know, fast food, you know, um, heavily, you know, fried food and, you know, because you're just, you're just going to do yourself over, man. All right. You're going to completely do yourself in. We got to do the best that we can, you know, while we're in Esau Edom's kingdom. All right. We, while we wait upon the salvation of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. So again, you know, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened, all right? So, again, for the sake of the elect, all right, these last days, you know, should be are going to be shortened, all right? Now, that's what I really wanted to get, um, you know, concerning, um, you know, this uh, video. It was just, uh, you know, a brief one just to, um, you know, bring this information out. And um, with that, you know, Lord willing, this was edifying and shalom.